Alright everyone, welcome back to game 2 in the round of 16. We've got Scream spawning here in the northern position on Zelnaga Caverns, currently seated second. And his opponent? Hayes, in the southwest position, who is the sixth seed in the tournament. Nice. And we saw these two players in game 1. On we the saw uh, Scream do a typical Zerg uh, fast expand, then go into Zergling, Baneling, and Mutalisk. Do you think he'll do something similar this game, or do you think he's going to vary it up? Um... Actually, I would prefer it more so on this map, because this map has so many attack paths. I mean, there's just so many ways you can go, especially with a highly mobile army like Zergling Mutalisk, that oh, I would yeah. definitely prefer it. Because, I mean, look at the natural. I mean, this is even worse than Metalopolis. On Metalopolis, you have, like, a partial, like, corner. On this map, you have, like, everything wide open. I mean, it's so hard for Terran to take his natural. And as you saw in the last game, Hayes had a hard time taking his natural, so I think this is even going to be worse for him if he continues that play style. And I'm surprised he picked this map because, I mean, he had map pick for both of them and he picked maps with very difficult to defend chokes. Yeah, that's that's a very good point. <laughs> I wonder what map I would have picked. First game, I probably would have done something like uh, Shattered Temple. Yeah, I was thinking that. I, I actually like Taldorim Altar for TVZ. Yeah, that's a good map, but it takes a while for units to get across the map. I definitely would not try to play mech on that map, though. Mmm. Depends on what type of mech. I would probably open with Blue Flame Hellions. Oh, I yeah, like they're Blue nice Flame Hellions a lot. Yeah, they are. Absolutely. Especially with so many ways you can go around that natural. Yep. Yep. Two ways to go in. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, I'm surprised that Hayes actually doesn't go ahead and go with, like, a bunker rush or anything. Oh, definitely, like a 2 rex bunker rush? Or even one. I mean, I, I occasionally throw in just a one Rax Bunker Rush just to see if they have an Overlord over uh, their natural if they expand on 14 like we're seeing Scream do. Which you can see he has no vision of his natural. So exactly. Prime place yeah. for a Bunker. I mean, you can, actually, you can actually wall off their ramp into their main as well with Bunkers, which I've done before. It's really cheesy, but I mean, it's it can definitely win games. It catches a lot of people off guard. But then again, I like playing that unorthodox style. By dropping, what, two bunkers, one on each, like... Yeah, you drop one bunker, and then you drop one right on top of it, so, like, the the top left corner of it is clipping the other bunker, and it completely walls off that ramp. Like, they, okay. they said they thought they fixed that in patch notes, but they actually didn't. Nice. Yep. So Hayes is just now scouting Screams Natural. Yep. I wouldn't have even gone all the way up there. I would have stayed out of its range and just, like, probably thrown down a Yeah, bunker. I know. And then Ugh. finish scouting, especially if you see the, the patch going up, you know that there's not even a pool started. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, if you've seen that uh, hatchery just about finished, which I believe you saw, I, you just know you expanded on 14. There's no point in even going into this main. You know the spawning pool's probably about done. Yep. Looks like he's doing the same build he did last game. Going for the fast factory with the... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably what he's... He's going with, he's going to go uh, get some marines and get some siege tanks and do a siege tank marine push, which I really don't prefer on this map because if the player gets like fast speed, like a one basing player would do if you were Zerg, get speed and then expands, you could just go through this, uh, what hallway is this? Artosis hallway? The top one or the bottom one? Top. Top one is this tasteless secret hallway. The bottom one's yeah. Uh, John's common knowledge hallway. Because if you if the one basing player just gets speed first, you can go through tasteless hall the uh, tasteless tasteless hallway and loop back into your main to do a counter attack, and then you have your mech at their natural doing nothing while your main is getting ram sacked. The only That's way I could see it working is if you actually push your mech up along the by the third and cover the uh, escape path. Yeah, that would work pretty well. But then you've got to make sure you cover the entire like wall to the natural with with stuff. Yeah, and you'd, have, and you'd probably have to knock down the, the rocks, which isn't good. No, no, you don't want to knock down the rocks. But, I mean, basically, if you like, if you look down the, the left side, if you get up by the uh, the trees with a couple of tanks, he's not going to run units because oh, he's going to take too okay. much damage. And then you yeah. basically just make a semicircle down and around through that uh, little cavern thing in the middle. Yeah. Put a couple of tanks on the left, a couple of tanks on the right, and then you just have your marines bouncing back and forth. And you can actually cover that entire natural pretty well. Apparently we are completely wrong. It looks like he's going for a one base battle cruiser. This should be one base should be fun battle to watch. cruiser. Nice. Yeah, that's. I don't see that build at all often. I think the last time I saw that build, I saw. Uh, oh, there's a fusion core. Okay, down at the yeah. bottom. Yeah. The last time I saw that build, I think I saw. Um, who's the English guy? A total biscuit. Total, total biscuit. biscuit doing that build. Yeah. yeah. 
I love listening to his accent. It's so entertaining. I watched um, This Is Jimmy on his stream one day when the Battlecruiser uh, patch came out. Yeah. He tried to one base Battlecruiser rush on this map, and it didn't work out so well. There are some situations where I actually do one base Battlecruisers, mostly in TBT if I'm doing Ayako build. Okay. Yeah. It's not. It's pretty rare, though. I mean, it's not common at all. This is actually, I mean, this could actually do quite a bit of damage. He's only got oh, yeah. a couple of queens for defense. Um, Absolutely. He's going to want to have to clear the watchtowers. Like, if he clears both watchtowers before he pushes out, it'll do even more. Mm hmm I don't think he will, though. He's too worried about pressure. He has a bunker down in his main. Oh, wait, he might. He's moving out with a couple of marines. Yeah, Let's he's definitely he going to want to clear those watchtowers, though, because if he does that, then he'll get a yeah. lot better of a, an attack. Mm hmm because he won't be prepared for it. Because Battlecruisers move so slow, once you start, start seeing them fly across the map, I mean, you're going to have probably an Evo chamber down as well as, well as two more queens Ooh, on their like way. looks like he's even bringing SCVs to go with this. He's going for basically an all-in. Mm. Not a lot of SCVs. I mean, he's only bringing about five or six, but... It should be fun to watch. They're stuck. There they go. Now they get, they're going to catch up. Looks That's like right. he took that watchtower back, so this has definitely been scouted already. Yeah. I'm surprised that... Uh, Screams minerals are so high, man. Up in the 2000s, yeah. Yeah. This is a little scary for me. If I lost to this game, I'd be like, man, I'd be really mad at myself because the minerals, my minerals are so high. I mean, he's playing so ec ec economically with having expanded on 14 that... He's going to have to push in hard with this. I mean, he's got no choice now. It's already been scouted. Hydrodens already on the way. Yeah, good response by Scream. He's throwing down a Hydrodens instead of a Spire. I would do the same thing. Spires take way too long to, to build. Goes to Zerglings, which will clean yeah. up all the ground. One queen down, another queen down. Ooh, yeah, these Zerglings are definitely going to clean up those SCVs. Yeah, he's oh, just going to push the... in and go for tech. Like, if he can get the queen in the Hydra Den, it's going to be game. Yeah, oh man, the repair toggle wasn't even on for those SCVs. Oh no, he's going for that. Not the queen, he's going for the Hydra Den. <laughs> those two queens are going to take out that Battlecruiser before the Hydra Den falls. Especially because he's You know, I think you're right. Game. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, and there's a counterattack going on down in the main. A yep. very, very slow oh. counterattack. Good response from Hayes, though. He, he picked up all his supply depots and lifted them up. Yep. Oh, come on. Oh, now he's target firing the queens down. Okay. But he's going to lose that battlecruiser. It's already down to 70 life. Yeah. Got to one queen down. And the battlecruiser is... Oh, drop a mule. Oh, <laughs> kills the queen with 10 life left on the battle because he needs to drop a mule up there and get that thing healed up ASAP. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Because there comes a baneling bust. And there are 8 hydralis on the way as well as 5... Oh, <laughs> 1 queen. I was reading the build time on the queen. It's not going to matter. Whoa. He's already got zerglings yeah. in the main now, killing everything. He pretty yeah. much just counterattacked with the baneling bust. Yeah, that, that was a good response. Yeah, he almost, I mean, he almost pulled it off. Had he had... Uh, some he good focused repairing on the with his yeah. battle cruiser and focused on the he, queens first. He didn't even have the repair toggle on. Ugh, I'd be a little disappointed. Hey, I mean, it's it's definitely almost worked for him. I think oh, he yeah. would have rallied his uh, building battle cruisers as well as his army up there. He might have yeah. done a little bit better, or waited for uh, Yamato and two battle cruisers. Yamato would have been good for the queens. Yeah, definitely. Could be the Yamato of the queens or Yamato of the Hydra den. I don't okay. know which I would go for. Alright, so we see Scream taking these games 2-0, and we will see you guys later. <sighs> oh.